leaving Maria, having had a lovely time here. The interior of Maria is absolutely stunning. I mean, it's, it's, it's a bit of Jurassic Park. But it is now time to move on. We've got to start making tracks back towards the Marquesas for cycling season. So we're off now to Makatea, which is halfway between Maria and Rangaroa, the first of the um, Tuamoto that we'll get to. Uh, we're actually sailing. So we've been motoring for the last hour and a half and now we've We've got 12 knots, so we've got the sails up. Just cleared the end of Tahiti. Coming into the evening now, we've had a cracking sail so far. We've actually had to, to put a reef in, which we weren't expecting to have to do, but it's just lovely. time, Makatea was the centre of phosphate mining in the Pacific. The phosphate was loaded onto ships by this huge loading arm called the Iron Crocodile. In the late 60s, mining ceased when Charles de Gaulle withdrew government funding, saying that French Polynesia's future lay within the French nuclear test programme. It was a massive operation, employing nearly three and a half thousand people. The phosphate was mined by hand, by shovel, into wheelbarrows, which were then pushed to a central point onto a conveyor belt, which took it to the mine train for onward transport to the port. When mining operations finally ceased, everybody left and the population plummeted from 3,500 to 70. Nothing was done to clear the infrastructure and nature very rapidly took over and the jungle consumed all the buildings. 